Hi, I'm Oink. I'm going to show you how to restore your wallet from a backup. Uh, there are two possibilities, and I'll open up uh, the wiki for that. Uh, on top, you'll see uh, some important information. Uh, it's vital you read that because that will tell you some important stuff for the procedure. And the procedure itself, I'll first uh, use a backup up my wallet dot. And after that, I'll use a wallet export file to show you. Um, all the information is in there so you can use it. What you see here is a version wallet. I just created it and I'm gonna show you what happens uh, if I restore my wallet dot. First of all, uh, I'll need to close down a virus desktop completely. And I already made ready two browsers, one of uh, the various coin chain data folder and the other one of my exports. And maybe you've seen the last video how to export that. I renamed those files to uh, the dot file to dot and the various demo export to a text file. Well, first what I'm going to do, uh, since this is a version wallet, I don't really need it right now. So I'm going to rename it uh, to dot virgin. I'm going to use that later on when I'm importing, but I just wanted to show you that my wallet is completely empty. And I'm going to copy this file, the dot file in here. I'm just going to paste it and I'm going to rename it. Let me see, rename to wallet dot dot there it is see um, basically when I start up virus desktop right now it will load up the wallet file the new wallet file it is initializing loading and replacing the wallet dot file usually loading the block index takes a bit longer than normal um, we're not going to wait for it I'm gonna skip out. Okay, as you can see, the wallet has loaded. It has amounts in it. It has a balance, as you can see right here. And you see all the transactions that uh, transpired before I imported it. And even uh, more important, you see IDs in there. And in this case, this ID is the one. It also has the balances in it. And it actually also shows uh these other two and uh, why does it show these other two that's uh, pretty simple because these are my revocation authority and recovery authority they're not actually in this wallet but it shows them that they have some control over this wallet okay what we're going to do next is we're going to shut down virus desktop because we've seen that replacing a wallet dot with a new one works going to shut down virus desktop and once that's shut down I will reinstate the original virgin wallet so we can do an import okay I'm gonna rename to restored so we know that and I'm going to rename this one into the wallet dot so we have a nice clean wallet all right starting up a various desktop well it has to load all the blockchain data again etc etc you've seen it next time so I'm gonna skip that the wallet is completely loaded right now as you can see it has zero balance in it so now what we'll need to do is import our uh, exported file um, we need to go somewhere, we need to do something, uh, we go back to the wiki and in Virus Desktop it says go to settings, coin settings and then run Z import wallet. I'm going to copy that. Uh, Cockwheel, coin settings, I'll make sure Virus is there which is standard. Run Z import wallet 
and then I'm going to type in the full path of the file I need. It doesn't work with uh, any uh, placeholders or anything. It needs to be the full path. So in this case, that's a home oink documents with a capital D and then the file name. Um, and I'm going to the various demo exports. I'll need a full file name. I'm going to copy that as well to avoid typing typos and close it down and press enter. Now it doesn't say anything. It doesn't give me any reaction. It still says wallet connected. Now there's a little trick. You can check the debug log all the way down to the end. And this is a big one. All the way down to the end. And it says rescanning. It is importing addresses. It says which addresses is imports. So it's still busy. And at some time, uh, this will say, cannot find demon, demon busy, anything. We'll just have to wait that out. Now we can indeed see it says no response to demon. Uh, what we can do is check the debug log again. Go all the way until it's loaded. Add it anyway, it's too long. It says still rescanning. And as long as it's still rescanning, the daemon won't respond. It is at 0.81, which means 81%. Uh, when it shows a something new in here, it will uh, will be finished. It does this every minute. Uh, you see there's already uh, data coming in. It is connected, so it is completely ready right now, although it doesn't show it in the log yet. What we can see here, we have all the transactions back again. Uh, we have addresses in here. The addresses are uh, exported. And we have IDs. I don't see all the IDs yet. Usually this is uh, solved by restarting. But we do have a complete wallet at the moment. That is how you import your old wallet into uh, a fresh uh, uh, Virus desktop wallet. Uh, as you can see, you can import your IDs that way. As long as you have the primary address, uh, you can import all the old addresses you have. Basically, this is the way to go. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.